Hi folks, today I'm annotating and editing PDF files with the help of a MacBook, Macworld article by Christopher Breen from August 1st, 2013. So some of the things I've already learned from this article are how to um, merge two PDFs and how I did that was I opened my finder and opened the, got a thumbnail of the second PDF I wanted to add and I clicked on it and just dragged it over to right where I wanted to add it. But I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it now. So what I did, uh, let's see, I wanna be on page seven. I um, So I included the second PDF right after page two. And what these PDFs are, they're eMath instruction uh, by Kirk Weiler. He's created some great um, online materials for algebra, and uh, we use this in my classroom. So I'm teaching two lessons, so I wanted to put the notes for the second lesson right after the notes for the first lesson. So as I'm going through the lessons, I can um, note right on top of the worksheet. So as I'm going through, I'll be able to highlight this markup tool, and I can use a pen. Whoops, okay, now it's making lines, let's see. I want to be able to write pen. Hello. Let's see, hello. Turn it in. you can turn it into a line or an arrow, or I can keep my hello. I can also write text. Let me move that text box. Okay. The answer is I can delete that by going highlighting it and clicking edit delete. Let's delete this, edit, delete, and delete this, edit, delete. Okay, not only can I write or type within the fields, but I can highlight. And I did that on page, uh oh, let's try that again. Don't need that finder anymore. It was on page seven, so let's use our thumbnails. Page seven. Okay, so there's a highlighter right here. You can select your color, and I chose green. I highlighted, and then what I did is I right clicked. Oops, right click, and um, let's remove the note, and let's right click again and add a note. Uh, okay, there we go. IQR is enter portal. Portal range. So now there's a note attached, and you can also add notes by clicking the notes button right here. Um, remember that the nearest tenth means there will only be one number after the decimal. And if I click away from that, I can, whoops, I don't want to highlight. I've got to turn off my highlighter button now. I can move that note right next to the tenth. Or turn the highlighter back on since it's a yellow note. Let's yellow highlight. Right click, add note. Okay, so I could do it just like that, or I could do a, the sticky note. So one number number after the decimal place. So there's a whole lot you can do with Preview, which is a free program and it's what your Mac automatically uses to open your PDF. Thanks for watching.